you guys asked for it. 24 hours starts now. See, it's so much heavier back there. Dude, we've made it four yards though. Oh, my mom is a wonderful lady. Can you put it up on your back? Three, two, one. Oh. oh, you dirty, dirty Chicagoan man. Oh, Tommy. Oh, Why? Yeah. <laughs> Pain is an illusion. I have a lot of illusions going on. <laughs> ah. Oh, dear Lord. I just went down a pant size. Dude, if the ranger says we have to carry this thing back up, I'm just going to set it on fire. Whew, 400 pounds of Europe. Three, two. Oh. 300 pounds just does not sound as heavy as 300 pounds is. But when you spread it out like that and put it on two men, it'll destroy you, man. It's like trying to make love to a hippo. I was so nervous about putting this video out, but it got a million views in 14 days, and I said, dude, we need to push this thing to its limits. We've taken it out in Gravy's Pond and we've deemed that we should name it the Boston Tea Party. What were the boats that came over from Europe, Davey? Uh, yeah, the Boston Tea Party. It did decent, but it did not see a lot of action. Today, me and Tommy have made it to the Chattahoochee River, one of my favorite genuine public waters to fish. We've seen this thing in private waters, kind of shielded from the real world, no problem. We haven't seen this boat in current generation shallow rocky waters rapids today we're going to embark on an overnight mission to see what the old boston tea party is made of okay i'm gassed and we haven't even started yeah, yeah. I will say there's a orange buoy line up yeah. there that broke. It's on the bank, but you're not supposed to go past that. I think you'll see where the rope ends is typically the line. Be yeah. careful. All right, later, bud. All right, man. Good luck. So, during that conversation, I took a wrong turn. You're supposed to go on the other side of the island. You're now on one side of the island that I did not plan on navigating, which is fine. Not a big deal whatsoever. Brace yourself, we're about to hit trolley for sure. Oh my lord, we are ripping, buddy. Ah! So the main objective is to get to the safest water we can without puncturing the boat. We need to make it around this island, find some calm water, tie up before we get washed down to some rapids. No, 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 no. I think we're gonna miss it. Can you paddle? Come on, Tommy. Come on. You're doing good, man. Go right. I'm trying. Great work, man. By the way, I, I accidentally disconnected the trolling motor for half of that, so it was all you. <laughs> You're saying I did most. <laughs> yeah, no, you did pretty much all of that, my friend. Tell you what, this video gets 25,000 likes. We'll do a salty sand, try to catch a bull shark in here. That is, if it doesn't sink by the end of today's vid. I got us, man. We are good. Oh, bro. I need to take a dip after that. That was rough. You need to take a dip after that. <laughs> Dude, you don't know the emotional trauma that I experienced during that. We are in here, brother. Good work with the paddle, man. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but that's a steep drop off it's a wall and all that's current i used to come out here in high school after football practice and just jump in here with a life jacket and float down small town not a lot going on but you know got a european houseboat now so welcome to the humble abode for the next 24 hours hop in here let me show you what we have packed oh starting out propane stove we actually have some ideas for different meals to cook not just the same thing over and over like usual 
in the container, fillet knife, skillet, cooking utensils. You already know, your boys improper as they come. Sleeping bags, whole nine yards, towels, paddles, black jackets, in case stuff gets a little crazy. Fishing bag. Oh, cooler, propane, a little bit of ingredients to cook with, tortilla shells, whatnot, camera gear. And friendship. The one thing we didn't do in the last video is actually use these windows. Tonight, we're gonna completely seal this boat up so that no mosquitoes can get in here and if there's a rainstorm, we'll be completely dry in here. I definitely wanna see this boat with the windows down. I feel like it'll look so cool. Leaving my shirt on because I'm slightly insecure. This thing actually comes with a swim ladder, I just didn't attach it yet. Oh yeah! It feels magnificent, Tommy. Get in here with me, you dirty dog. Oh, a little big? <laughs> my man looks like six months in the toddler diapers. <laughs> Wish gravy was here. So the main objective of spending 24 hours on this in public water is to put the boat to the full test. I have not, oh! I have not been on the roof yet, and we're gonna see what it does. Okay, all right. No way, dude. Let me venture towards the middle. Are you kidding me? This doesn't seem right at all. I weigh 250 pounds right now, heaviest I've ever been in my life. It's, I mean, is it insane down there? Not insane. You can see where my feet are. Yeah, of course. But it's not like I'm folding in by any means. No, not like how Davy Gravy was. Yeah, he had a yeah. freaking lawn chair. <laughs> Dude, this is a actual casting deck. Like I could fish up here the whole way down tomorrow. Dude, hand me a fishing rod, bro. Let me, let me shine up here. I had a bunch of people comment the boat was not all the way inflated. It would be more stable once it was properly inflated. We got the PSI almost there. We're still like one PSI off. I know I've been shocked for like 10 minutes, but I'm, I'm still blown away. I'm a heavy dude. I can't ride kitty coasters, man. And I can stand up here comfortably. Dang it. Can't believe you had 300,000 subs and you broke off four times. Over there, about two miles, <laughs> maybe half a mile, there's a wall of rain. A little bit of lightning, that's what we're in. We said we wanted to test the boat, just try it out the roof. I'm surprised. We get to try the windows out and see if this thing's actually waterproof. I'm gonna leave you bad boys up here so you can see us get struck by lightning. Love you, babe. Just figured, throw that in. Can't wait to batten down the hatches. <laughs> okay, we said we wanted to test this thing out. Just didn't want massive thunderstorm. Hadn't seen one this big in like. Dude, that looks bad. Close this bad boy up. Dude, nice and cozy. Oh, dude, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> Oh, did you see that? Does it seem closer to you? It does seem closer. Yeah. I'm nervous, man. Also, you have a metal camera in your hands and I have a metal GoPro on my chest, so. I don't know though, I feel like this is good material. <laughs> <laughs> So the boat's been sitting here for about three and a half hours. Water level was right here. Now it's sitting about four foot deeper. At one point it was, that's nip high. 
and they're sagging a little bit because I haven't hit weights in a year and a half. The water's finally calmed down enough to where I think we can catch fish. I would have loved to have old gravy with us today, but two years ago, I took gravy out here. We fished. His ankles looked like poison ivy, and I don't know if he thought it was Atlanta sewage or some type of bacteria, but he will not touch the river again. He's with us in spirit. Called him four times today, and he hadn't responded, so um, it doesn't affect me at all, so. This has really been the worst conditions for fishing today now it's cloudy and a really dark night so night fishing is really difficult good thing is water's going to be calm all night so the fish will kind of acclimate i feel like tomorrow morning is going to be pretty cool tonight is the first overnight stay that we've had in the european boat we've successfully launched tied up to an island unfortunately we have yet to catch a public waters fish but tomorrow is going to be special feel it down in my bones also have a new recipe that i've been wanting to try we have about a mile and a half float in this big hunk of plastic and it's going to be slow sluggish a lot of rapids a lot of rocks we're going to see what this thing's made of but the next test and a pretty important one how does she sleep She's stiff. You could easily inflate a queen size mattress if you wanted right here, but oh, yeah. I don't feel good about it. I'm not gonna lie. One ten, I feel about a three and a half. Oh no. Before we go any further, today's video is brought to you by Raycon. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. And with this little gel tip, they never fall out of your head. Ever. Everyday earbuds have an eight hour play time with a 32 hour battery life, which is almost as long as my run. The everyday earbuds provide quality audio with half the price of other audio premium brands. It's really no wonder why there's over 50,000 five-star reviews of these everyday Raycon earbuds. Ah, with three customizable options. You can have noise isolation, awareness mode, the tap function changes the volume. Bad boys do it all. So if you guys would like a pair of everyday Raycon earbuds, make sure to go to the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash aofishing to save 15% off on your purchase. Now back to the video. Oh, I'm gonna be feeling that one in the back for sure. It's like sleeping on a border. I think next time we're gonna bring foam or some type of air mattress, but that was brutal. At least the view is gorgeous though. Good way to start the morning. I walked over here to relieve myself. There's a human hand. It looks like identical. It even has some fat fingers like me. Just reaching straight at the Boston Tea Party. A lot of pointy objects, inflatable vessel, mile and a half float, every camera I've ever bought in my life. So we're gonna see what happens. Jeez, man. So many rocks. Wouldn't have spent 11 bucks on these at Walmart if I knew they let all these rocks in. First cast? 
Oh, pulled right off. <sighs> Felt like a nice little spot. This river, like everybody, the water around here is overrun with spots. Uh-oh. Had to get that hook away from that inflatable quick. Ooh, I don't think it's that big. I think he had me around a rock. Hit like a ton of bricks though. Looks like a little spot. Perfect, dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So he's been hanging out in the back alleys, if you know what I'm saying. Looks like Norm when I first met him. I don't want to eat that. He looks sick. Something going on. First public water fish though. I'll take it. You know, all these rock lines are Native American fish traps. Oh, fun fact. I think I know why we're not catching that many fish. All right. Dude, this is a really cool vantage point to be fishing from. Oh, got him. No, I hate fishing. Wait one second here, buddy. Got him. Dude, I, it might hurt me from fishing up here. Can't really keep leverage on him, I guess. Doing a fantastic job down there, man. Spoke a little too early. Good Lord. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic job, buddy. <laughs> we are about to enter the most treacherous part of this trip. It's not really that bad. It's just a lot of jagged rocks. People get their kayaks punctured all the time. My favorite fishery is 200 yards that way. I'm hoping so bad that we can get a little taco put together and also just a fish for morale caught one with every std in town this boat is so much sturdier than i thought though when we bought it it did not seem like i would ever stand on the roof it barely held gravy we properly inflated it this time and it's pretty stable oh god don't do it tommy okay. towards towards you you dirty dog Oh gosh. Exciting stuff right there. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's in my forehead. Don't tell me. About time. Stay on. Oh, I've been waiting for this. It's not big, but it's a clean spot. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's exactly what we're trying to take out of here. Almost got hit by a drone. Still feeding everybody. Can you put that in the cooler for me, man? Don't go. Fumble recovery, baby. It's the only time I ever touched a football in high school. I had bricks for hands. All right, don't lose this. I'm hungry. Thanks, brother. The entire river right here is about a foot deep with four foot rocks. They've all been honed, smooth, to nice fine points over hundreds of years of just Atlanta sewage rubbing them down. Dude, this might not be the best time, but I feel a number two is brewing. This boat's been truly impressive. We're skidding over rocks, hitting trees. Feel sturdy as can be. Oh, don't worry, Tommy. The water displacement is basically nothing, dude. We're carrying easily 400 pounds worth of equipment and humans. We're probably sitting two inches in the water, inch or two. It's pretty good. It's pretty awesome. Oh, Walmart Crocs, baby. Man, this water's crystal clear.
gonna be a really small taco if we don't catch another fish. Be a good one. Dang it, dude. Catching these dinks every other cast. It's a largey. Second species, 15th dink. This time of year, man, it gets so hot, the big fish are just so far and few between. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep. So glad I got to show you guys my favorite fishing spot. It's loaded with big fish. Where's them bass? Oh, dude, two big ones right there. That's, it. oh man, those are spots too. Shouldered up. Yeah. It's really hilarious. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yes, sir. Sweet. That is a large mouth. It's a tiny fella, but I have. Oh, sweet. I got hooked him. He's going out like a freaking dynamite. I gut hooked this tiny guy. I did not want to keep a lorgy, but no point in throwing him back now. We gotta eat, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Could be a spot. Definitely a large mouth. Cooler him up for me. Let's eat, man. I've been telling you guys I want to try some different recipes. Red hot seasoning, slice of cheddar. We're gonna see what I'm made of. Oh my gosh, dude. Something about the way the cheese and the spice mixes together. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness, man. You wanna try a little bite? I mean, I've tongued down most of it, to I be guess. honest. We don't catch many big fish. Feels good to eat the little ones that just torture you. It's kind of a sick, twisted idea, but... I've been trying to document as many recipes as I can for when we go on the road with the itty bitty. I have a feeling our diet will consist of mostly fish, so I want to have as many different ways to prepare it as possible. That's top of the list. It was good, man. That's good fish. 30 yards, we'll be at takeout. Battery is just dying right now. It's got barely anything left in her. We are low on juice. Three, two, one. Leveling. Ah! break <laughs> uh, uh, there's water inside there this. is extra water i think i know how you look when you're constipated now oh yeah it's just the camera bag and the fishing poles they don't matter <laughs> ah she faced the old chattahoochee still floats she did good we're gonna go rehydrate thank you guys for watching another adventure on the boston tea party we'll see you on the next one peace Europe is the biggest country I've ever seen. It's almost as big as the United States. I'm gonna get some shots of my feet. Ooh. Oh, something happened in my, in my, in my butt, man. Um.